Guys, how you doing? My name is Rich Guzman. Hi, guys. I'm Anastasia Halls, better known as Coach Ace. And welcome to the one and only Super Affiliate Network Inner Circle Coaching Call. This call is designed to get you uncomfortable and get you unstuck and moving forward in your life and in your business. Not only that, it's all about coming together as a family, as we call the SAM family, to help each other grow for every aspect in your business, okay, in your life. So, I'm really excited. I know you're excited about what we're going to talk about tonight. And I know you want to talk about, a little bit about Reno, you said. Yeah, because this is the first inner circle since coming back from the live event for the Super Affiliate Network. Uh, you know, I am marketing mastery retreat that we just came back from. We had a great time. You guys seen Was that our, awesome? You guys seen some of our footage, some some sneak peeks backstage stuff Dan Muscat was putting out there for you guys to see inside the community, inside the Facebook group. Yeah, that was it, cool. Only for the eyes of the Super Affiliate Network members and attendees who could see it. Um, but not only that, it is also in the community because Misha was going live too backstage and sharing some you know nice footage in there so we also cool. shared our album we made an album um for us on our own personal facebook wall and uh, you guys are more than happy to take a look at it i also shared it inside the group so yeah. you guys could take a look or if you're just following our content and you're friends with us on facebook feel free to take a look at our photos and our albums yeah. we've got great pictures from lake tahoe that we went to go see it was that awesome. was incredible that was that that was something I had on my bucket list for a long time, and I crossed it right off. And I was like, yes, yes, I finally accomplished my feat of being afraid of heights and finally going to Lake Tahoe to see. Uh, was it Emerald Bay? It was really high. Emerald up, Bay, right? real yeah. high. Yep, yep. That's and really then cool. also seeing Reno, Nevada for the first time and um, hanging out with the big dogs, right? Hanging out with all the speakers oh. and all the top earners and Nisha, as well as meeting all of you guys who actually bought a ticket and showed up oh my god it yeah. was quite awesome because i remember the first day when i got there um i didn't know what to expect but i saw so many people and it was a line from the door all the way to oh, past, it's crazy. Yeah, past the, yeah. ga the gaming room yep. right and from the ballroom past the gaming room where all the arcade was and i'm coming out of the elevator with rich and my son and we're walking by and i start seeing the line where it begins <laughs> and I start hugging every single person I could possibly hug and give a kiss to on that line all the way up. And then Dan goes, come on, Ace, we need you back here. I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go. <laughs> I know. Well, first we were doing it together. And what yeah. happened was I got pulled away from Dan. And people wanted to and take then, pictures yeah. and stuff with us. So that kind of like delayed the hugging, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the hugging. But uh, Angel got some hugs too. Angel was there. Oh, Everybody yeah. was happy to see our son. You got some hugs. You got some love. Got some hug, yeah. love. And uh, on top of that, it was a great, fantastic weekend. Lots of great learning. Lots of great takeaways. I mean, you guys should have been there. If you if you didn't go, let me tell you something. You have yourself to blame for not showing up. Oh, we we yeah. were we were um, we were looking forward to seeing you, yeah. but you were not there. Some of you didn't make it. I don't know <laughs> why, didn't make it. but. Yeah, probably going to bed at night thinking to yourself, damn it. Damn it, damn yeah. it, damn it. But the VIP party was not what I expected. It, it was, was off the hook. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it this way. I did some dancing. <laughs> Me, Keisha was dancing. Misha was dancing. Too. Misha, Misha was dancing. Nietzsche was dancing. I don't think Dan Muskett was dancing much. Jason Gasaway was dancing, yeah. right? You yeah. know, Moses was dancing. I mean, it was just all around I fun. I believe I saw Moses dance. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, it was that awesome. Was really cool. But we had a great time and uh, great food, great entertainment. But most importantly, um, like I said, guys, you know, we can only share so much. It's, it's all an experience and you need to be there. You know, you really need to go to these live events. They're so important for you, for your growth, for your development. And more importantly, what we're going to talk about tonight. Your expansion. Yeah, we're going to talk about this a little bit tonight. And mm -hmm. um, Rich, you want to get into it? Are you ready for the content? I'm ready for it. Let's I'm ready it. for the. Are you guys ready for the content? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm ready for the content. Look at all the hearts and the likes and the shares, and make sure that when you share, because sharing is caring, you let everybody know, and you're following that it is you doing the sharing. And if they like more information, to get back with you and send you a private message yeah. with the information to the Super Affiliate Network. Okay. So I was um, scouring the internet like I always do, and scouring, huh? scouring the internet. You know? <laughs> Look, lurking from the shadows. <laughs> um, and what I want to share with you today, guys, is like, I'm always looking for new things to learn and grow in my personal development and my, my growth along my journey. And um, 
there's something I've been following for a while. It's called Mind Valley, and they have the really really good speakers and everything. Good personal development, good training, and uh, there's one that really caught my eye uh, that I wanted to talk to, you know talk about and stuff like that. Um, and uh, it, it's all about how to build, you know, a life but a complete life. Okay, and a lot of people really don't think about this. And, you know, this is, I'm, I, I'm not getting any credit for this guy. His name is John Butcher. This guy has created a phenomenal life from every aspect of success. Every aspect of success. Let me repeat that again. Every aspect of success. Every aspect, you know, success is not just about money. We always talk about that, right? But he's created a life so phenomenal that I really got inspired by it. And, um, and I've, and I've just been like, looking him up, reading about, learning this thing that he's been really, you know, teaching on and stuff. And um, it's really all about creating that extraordinary life. And what he calls it, he calls it life book. Okay. And uh, it, it's an amazing experience uh, to learn more about different aspects of you as a human being. Okay. Because um, there's different ways to measure success, but he has, a, he has yeah. a many different categories on how to really measure success and how do you look at your life as success so i want to really just pull the high curtain tonight okay and i want you guys to really think about your lives and think about your potential um what's possible when you pay attention what i'm going to share with you this evening okay all right so what i'm going to do you, you guys could take notes you guys could take notes um if you want um, and, and that way this is recorded, but I like people to take notes on the fly because that way you're in real time with us. You know, we're doing this live and it's just really, really, really good to be in the moment. Okay. So now I'm going to start off by saying that, you know, me and Anastasia, we started, um, a new journey and we started a journey on our health and our fitness. Okay. This is something we've been struggling with for a while. We start and we stop, we start and we stop. So I decided to go with a program that is going to be very rigorous and it's going to keep us on track and accountable and things like that. Um, it's going to be a 90 day fitness challenge. It's a 90 day weight training fitness challenge. So it's about weight training. Okay. There's a little cardio in between, but it's mostly weight training. And uh, the reason why I'm starting off this live about talking about the fitness side, because uh, one of the categories that I learned from, from John, what he talked about was the health and fitness. Okay. So start writing some stuff down guys. Cause then we're going to start talking about this right now. And um, because life is not just about money. Life's not just about being successful in business. Life's about, you know, looking at these different categories in your life and how are you looking at these categories in your life? Okay. And you know what I wish and this is what John said and that really I resonated with. He said, I wish the school system, would actually teach this more than anything else because the school system is really bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just crap. Right. It's not really teaching uh, these kids that are, that are in, in the school system now to reach their, pool, you know, their full potential of who they are as a human being, mm -hmm. right. Right. right? Not just you know, to stay in line, you know what I mean? And get a job and work for somebody else and conform, right? No, this is about you. This is about conforming yourself to your highest potential as a human being. Isn't that, isn't that the reason why we were born on this planet for, right? So you guys are gonna love this guy. So the first category, write this down guys, it's all about your health and fitness, okay? Your health and your fitness. You know, it's funny what you said when you were on stage. You were like, guys, come on, stand up. Okay. I don't care. You know, you wear some cane. You, you know, you got some cane. Oh, yeah. You were those canes aside. I wasn't playing. Y'all was, if those of you who were there, you heard me on stage. I was like, listen, I was like trying to give my last, my ending my speech. And I was like, listen, I want everybody to stand up. And I said, if y'all got canes, put them to the side. Let's go. Get up. I want everybody. I don't care. Geriatrics, get up too. <laughs> I told everybody. I started to get cracking up. up when you said that. So here's the thing, guys. The yeah. first category is health and fitness. Be sure to focus on your health and fitness. Some people, unfortunately, I'm sure it's going to be a real challenge for them, mm -hmm. a real struggle due to their health the way it is right now. But it doesn't mean that you can't do a little bit each day of something that can benefit you. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's number one. So category one guys, health and fitness. 
All right. Uh, category two. I know you really talk about this a lot. Um, that's why we actually got attracted to each other because we're intellectual. We're we have intellectual stimulating conversations about life, spirituality, and stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, category two, guys, is creating and you know an intellectual life. And what do I mean by intellectual? What are you learning? What are you putting in your mind with what you're learning? Right. right. That's intellectual. Right. Okay. So you choose to learn what you want to learn. There's people out there that will just listen to senseless stuff that is not inspiring. Like it's romance not, novels. Yeah, it's not really doing anything <laughs> for them, right? No, I'm serious. The romance novel thing just it, it done had it, you know. I like Nora Roberts too, but damn, you know, she ain't got a place on my shelf, not these days, because she ain't paying my bills. Like I need to, <laughs> I need to make sure that I'm they, they I'll to, have an intellectual read, books. You used to read um Nora Roberts? Yeah, yeah. Really? Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Transparency and <spoilers. laughs> But so, it's just like Rich said, you don't want to waste your time having yourself immersed with books like that because they're not really helping to solve your problem right. they're just fantasy whereas intellectually you can be reading things that can make you think can yes. make you grow yes. can make you transform and right. that's the books that you should be reading like today earlier we did a live and um, we talked about compound effect yeah but they're hard books right. similar to that right. is going to help your intellectual life well just like i just told you i was mm -hmm. scouring the internet right and mm -hmm. i was looking for new personal development because right. I'm always looking to learn new things, right? Yes. Um, and, you know, I came across this, it came across my desk, and I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this is very fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel that in my heart it could benefit you. Right. Okay? Right. Because we're not taught this in school. So we got, you know, take the bull by the horn, mm -hmm. take the reins, right. and think about these things. Yes. So the next thing, besides intellectual life, okay, besides educating yourself on intellectual things that could help you grow as a human being, is what about your emotional life? How are you feeling emotionally? Are you happy emotionally? Are you, are you not happy? Mm -hmm. Are you angry most of the time? Let me know how your emotional state is when it comes to your life. That's also important. And you have to be 100% honest. Yeah, because if you're not if you're not happy with your emotions, change it. Yeah. Learn to change the negative into a positive thought by taking a breath. Right. So let's say you're having a rough day and you're angry. Before you automatically speak out, okay? When your first reaction, what you should do is take a breath. So let's say you're like, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm just upset right now. Freaking, I couldn't, couldn't generate a sale today. Or, you know, before you start blurting that out, go. And, you know, assess the situation, understand what it really is, you know, what you're doing and what it really is about, right? It's supposed to be up and down, right? So understand that being emotionally balanced is important in your life okay so just realize what i'm saying so we got category one health and fitness category two intellectual life category three emotional life okay now the next thing now here's something that i really when i heard this from john i was like he makes a lot of sense because the next phase is character what are you doing to create your character and that's important because if we learn from the wrong types of people, that's influencing our character. If we learn from the right people, it's still influencing our character. Mm -hmm. The choice is yours. How do you want to learn? Okay. How do you want to, you know, how do you want to create your character? How do you want your character to, you know, perceive out there, you know, on the internet as you're building your business, your brand, who you are, right? Very, very important. You could be professional. You could be crazy. It's up to you what you decide. But remember, whatever you do, it shapes your character. Very important. Okay. So your character is everything in this business. The more that you fine tune your character by, of course, personal development, learning stuff that we're teaching here tonight as well, right? Your character takes shape. Okay. The better character you'll have. If you're aware of what you are doing. Right. Okay. Right. Very important. Now, after category four character, let's move into the next category. 
uh, which is spirituality. Spirituality, I think, is very, very important as a human being because, you know, whether you're Catholic, whether you're Christian, whether you're Buddhist, whether you're into just spirituality in general, okay, it really doesn't matter. What matters is, is what you believe in and what you feel in your heart, okay? And spirituality is a part of our existence in our lives. Right. And it really means a lot to us, okay? So be sure to make sure that you focus on your spirituality and keep that as a balance in your life. The way I look at spirituality, ladies and gentlemen, is this. It, if I'm going to be spiritual about something, it has to add value to my life, not take away from it. Write that down. In order to be spiritual, it has to add value to my life in a positive way to add positive reinforcements for growth. Otherwise, if I'm into a spirituality and it's taking away my happiness, it's taking away and causing more chaos and less balance, then it's not something that I should be actually believing in. Because usually spirituality needs to be, you know, growth, right? Belief. This is a big thing because it adds value and it's very positive. This is why there's different, you know, different religions all around the world. And with respect to your religion, okay, whatever it is you want to follow, that's your prerogative. I don't care what it is you believe in. All it has to be is it has to add value to your life instead of taking away from it and also add value to others. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. it's just something that really is mm -hmm. important in everybody's life because somebody believes in something. Yes. And it just it, it's part of our mm -hmm. human existence. Yes. OK. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is um, relationships. OK. Love relationships like, um, you know, we have a relationship and, you know, we've been together for, you know, over eight years now. OK. And everybody was, you know, everybody always asks, like, when are you married? When are you married? Um, I, I don't think about labels. I think about my heart and I think about how I feel. Okay. Society always wants to put labels on things that you have to do this a certain way or in this time frame. Mm -hmm. That's not the reality. The reality is how you feel in your heart. Okay. Um, no piece of paper, you know, piece of paper is going to make you love someone less or more. You understand what I'm saying? Your heart will make you, you know, love someone, you know, more or less. Okay. So it's your heart that really matters, right? When the marriage happens, it happens when it's supposed to happen. Okay. So relationships are really, really important. And, you know, and I, I can say, you know, um, you know, me and Anastasia, we have a very special relationship. You know, we're, you know, like I said, we've been together for over eight years. Um, you know, we never had any intimacy, you know, it took six months because we really loved each other's company. We love each other's character. We love being next to each other. And it really meant a lot to us. Okay. And I think, I think that's a big part of why we're still together even after eight years. And we're just as much, if not more in love than we were the first day we met. Now, do we always see eye to eye and everything? No, but don't forget, it's another person with a, another mind than your own mind. And you have to take that into account. You do. Okay. Absolutely. That's why we, yes. we, we, like, if we ever get to an argument, we always do this. After the argument, we sit down and we talk and we say, Okay, so what was that argument about? Well, <laughs> yeah. Why do we even argue in the first place? Yeah, we, we, assess, <laughs> we assess why the argument happened. Yeah. Like today we had a little bit of squaffle, right? <laughs> and I talked to her <laughs> and I spoke to her. Well, you know, this is what happened and this is why it happened. And I, when I talk, <laughs> I'm not yelling. Nope. I'm being very calm. I'm bringing the energy really, really low. And when you do that, the opposite sex turns and listens. Mm -hmm. If you yell, there's no communication. It's right. one-sided, yeah. okay? So really, it's important to understand that. So love and relationship is really, really important, guys, in this, you know, what we call a full life of success, okay? So the next thing I want to talk about, and, you know, let's not just talk about, like, relationship as far as love. What about relationship and, and family? What about relationship and friends, Right. Those are important relationships in our lives too. So choose your friends wisely when you develop relationships. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that um, life's about give and take, right? It's not about taking, taking, taking. Mm -mm. It's about give and take. You give and you take. That's right. Okay. Yes. It's a balance. So very important. Now also parenting is another um, mm -hmm. category, category seven um, you know, <laughs> is parenting. parenting. Parenting is, you know, we were born 
And when we became parents, there was no, no uh, instruction booklet how to be a parent, right? Stuff that we just kind of learn on your own. They as can you go write along. all the books and Dr. Spock's yeah. all they want, but Doesn't until matter. it's real actual experience of yeah. raising children, yeah. that's the only way you're going to learn. Exactly. That's so we can only life. give you <laughs> we can yeah. only give you so much advice when it comes to being a parent, but it all comes down to you taking action and implementing those standards and structures in your children's mm-hmm. lives. Yep. And uh, you know, our ch- kids will model what you do. Exactly. If they see you weak, then they're gonna feel weak. Absolutely. If they see you strong, they're gonna be strong. So that was category seven, parenting. Parenting. Very, very important. Mm-hmm. Now, category eight. Uh, social life. What does your social life look like? This is a big one. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, for me, um, and and I speak for you too. I think, um, you know, we travel and we meet people. Mm-hmm. We love socializing. We love communicating. Um, we love having intellectual conversations. I love it. Um, that's our kind of social life that we love. Yes. Um, you know, we've seen like you know DJs and stuff. We've been out. Uh, we've been out to dinner. Um, socialize with other people. Um, I think social life is important. It creates a good balance in your life as a human being as well. So uh, category eight, social life. So look at your social life. All right. Now, category nine is a big one. And a lot of people really struggle with this. And I don't know why school doesn't really teach this. Finances. 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 Are you struggling with your finances? If you are, then that means it's the relationship you have with money. If you're struggling with finances, it's a relationship that you have with money. If you're not trying to do anything about it, that means you don't really care. If you're aware and you're purposely trying to make things better, then you're on the right track. Because let's face it, school doesn't really teach us about wealth. They don't teach us about like finances as far as like creating income. No, they don't. How to create capital that that billionaire breakfast that we talked about. Yes, guys, billionaire breakfast. And I'm sorry if you weren't there, you missed it. But it talked about, that's one of the things it talked about, right? Very, very important. Yeah. You know, creating capital for your business. That's how billionaires think, okay? So understand that finances are very important in your life, okay? Balance, like are you, you know, creating capital for your business? Are you, you know, running your business with capital? Or are you wishful, wishful thinking and thinking that your business is going to grow without the capital? That's number one. Two, as you start creating capital in your business, what are you doing with that? Are you reinvesting it or are you spending it? Now, when you get to a certain point, you start making even more money. Are you investing in other assets to grow your wealth? That's another chapter of, you know, just that one category when it comes to finances. So think about your finances. Uh, It's really important. See, the thing about it is, guys, we got to take the bull by the horn ourselves. School's not going to teach us this, right? So we got to be the ones that gets that self-education, right. investing in our intellectual capital mm-hmm. to understand finances better because nobody's going to do it for you. Remember That's that. right. Okay. The other thing I want to talk about, and don't forget, guys, that was category nine. All right. So now category 10, your career, your business. Okay. Your career, your business. Tell me about that. What is it that, you know, that you're inspired about? Like, Example for me and Ace, we're we're so inspired every day to be better, to learn more, to put more content out here, you know, to you guys and teach you more about different aspects of life, business, relationships, success, things like that. We love this kind of stuff. It gets our juices flowing every single day. This is why I've been scouring and learning new methods, different parts of success. You know what I mean? It's all a fine balance. And this is why everybody today should be writing this down. It's so important. If if you guys learn this in school, Mm -hmm. you would be like so much more well-rounded than you are today. (laughs) I'm just letting you know, you know, that's the truth. So that's category 10 guys was career. Now let's talk about the quality of life. That's category 11. What kind of quality of life do you have? And, And if your quality of life is not the way you want it to be, Look to your past and look and say to yourself, what is it that caused myself to have this quality of life? Right. So, for example, let's say, you know, um, over over the years, you've gained, you know, more weight than you wanted to. Okay, Is that a good quality of life for you? Absolutely not, because it's not healthy. Right. It causes health issues and it's not good for your psyche, you as a human being. 
Right. Now, when you look good, you feel good, right? That's why the first category is about health and fitness. This is all ties together, guys. It all, it all ties together. together. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So your quality of life. If you're, let's, for example, I'm just giving you guys an example. So if you're overweight and you want to change that, every day is a new opportunity to change your quality of life. You have that choice. You have that decision. So just like we talked about the compound effect, right? Everything that you do daily of one thing will change the outcome, whether it's good or bad. Well, think about the quality of life. If you want to change the quality of your life, then you can make that decision starting today. Mm-hmm. It takes only, it's only one decision away from changing the quality of life. For us, you know, we were doing the health challenge for the next 90 days with our, you know, weight training. Yep. And for me, it's harder for me because I have, um, you know, my story is, I have a narrowing in my small intestine because I had an accident uh, years ago, and it, it causes it's harder for me to 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 do fitness. But I'm still going to challenge myself. And I'm not going to make it an excuse. Right. Okay. So I'm going to push myself, even though it's harder. It's a little more harder for me than the average person that doesn't have this problem. Right. But there's no reason why you can't make a decision to to just change the following day. It starts with a decision. You can do it, guys. And what I actually was inspired by when I was talking on stage, as I was standing up there underneath the lights and, you know, they had the lights on and I looked out into the audience and I saw how many people were old enough to be my grandparents were out in the audience and some of them had wheelchairs, some of them had canes, some of them had oxygen tanks. Yeah. And I see the younger people who are healthy, able, have got vitality and energy, making all these excuses of not coming to this event. Meanwhile, somebody two to three times older than you with an ailment is showing up at an that. event been, and they're there. Yeah, there were some young people that had They were taking too. notes like yeah. students. Yeah. They were soaking up the information, asking questions interacting they wanted to learn yep, the, they wanted to grow they and no they excuses. wanted to improve their quality of life yeah they didn't want to that's make any, why they were there they didn't want to make any excuses they didn't want to make any excuses which is awesome so think about how inspiring that is when i'm telling you this that there's people that will do more than you than you least expect it and you can't judge a book by its cover absolutely sure. okay so guys that was category 11 Category 12 is life vision. Now, this is a big one. Yes. Um, And I can tell you that without vision, you perish. Without vision, you literally perish. Right. Uh, You know, for me, I'm always like, I have vision in my mind. And when I have it, I'll write it down. um, And I'll come home. I'll write it up on the whiteboard. That's why, you know, our story, we didn't buy no furniture in the beginning. When we first got our apartment from being homeless, we um, we bought whiteboards and we started like just mapping out ideas uh, and create, you know, have, having a vision to, 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 to see it just come to fruition. Right. You know I mean, it's but you positive. can't stay stagnant in your situation, in your circumstance. You have to have some kind of clarity. You have to know where you're going. You have to be crystal clear. And this is something that was taught in Reno. You have to be clear on your life's vision. You have to know where you're going. You have to see yourself not just a year from now, not just three years from now, but we're talking 5, 10, 20. Yeah. You need to look at yourself and where's the long term of all of this journey? Where are you going with all of this? Are you still going to be in the same country that you are in or are you coming to America? Are you in America and you want to go to a country? Or where do you want to go? Where do you want to travel to? How do you want to live? How does your perfect ideal day look like when you get to that goal and you're at that, you know, that point in your life where you're waking up in the morning and your morning is completely different than the person who has to work a nine to five or a nine to nine, right? You see, people think that when it comes to having a life vision, they think it's all about riches and wealth, but it's more than that. It is. It's about freedom. It is. Okay. It's about breaking free from people telling you how to live your life and living your own path, creating your own destiny. 
So when you're clear on where you're going 10, five to 10 years from now, that's what's going to keep you going. That's the driving force that's going to keep you going forward. So let me just take a step back here to the guys, um, a bit of a story that um, it, it's going to be very powerful. Um, did you know that there's a reason why we went to Lake Tahoe? It wasn't just for sightseeing. It wasn't just, you know, to get those great pictures and stuff like that. There was a purpose behind it. And eight years ago, I went to Lake Tahoe. And I met a, an extraordinary woman. And I believe she was um, like between 50 and 60 years old. I think she was in her 60s. And she, she worked at a, uh, a t-shirt job. It was called it, uh, Tahoe T-shirtery. It was called Tahoe T-shirtery. And when I met her for the first time, um, she told me some things that were really profound. Um, I paid attention and I listened. She told me that I would meet somebody, um, that I would have a son. And it was very, very profound because I was with somebody else at the time and she was there as well. And she told that individual that, that I'm not meant for her, right? So the reason why we went to Tahoe is because we, I wanted Anastasia to meet her because exactly what she said came true. And she described the woman, dark hair and everything. And Whoa. it was really kind of kind of freaky, but it was mm. really, but it was really cool. She prophetically said this and before yeah. I even knew Rich. So eight years later, we have an event in Reno with the Super Affiliate Network. So we said an extra day and we went to Lake Tahoe and I went to, to see if I could find her. Well, unfortunately, nothing is guaranteed in life. So when I walked into the t-shirtery shop, um, I asked the lady if, her name was Rosalina. I said, was Rosalina here? And she says, oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, she passed away. So can you imagine that, like how time goes by eight years later and I'm thinking I'm gonna see this person and that person was not there. I didn't know this, she never told me, but she had something going on in her brain. She never told me. And uh, we, you know, we became really close. She was really, really, uh, you know, amazing. She was just an amazing person. Like I felt like I met her before, but I never met her before, it was weird. And so we, we, we left the t-shirt we shop and it just really hit me, you know, how we're not guaranteed tomorrow. You know, we're not guaranteed what's going to happen, you know, an hour from now. Okay. Anything could change at any moment's notice. So we must not waste another, another moment in our lives and not try to make our, our, you know, our lives better by looking at these categories that we share today. And it's so true. And people don't think about these things. And have, honestly, it's not their fault because they never would have taught this stuff in school. You know, if they were, they'll be more mindful, you know, about it. And they would, you know, realize how to create an extraordinary life. Right. But when I went there and, and, and I found out she wasn't there, you know, it hurt. It hurt because I wanted Anastasia and Angel to meet her. It was important yeah. to say, hey, look, you were right. Oh, my God. You know, could you imagine someone I telling to, you? I wanted to thank her. Yeah, I it, wanted it was, to shake her hand or hug her and, and, and be like, thank man, you. Man, so. For, for, you know, being that property. property it was, it was hard. Too, it was hard. But it was yeah. tough. But here's the thing, though. The journey was worth it. Oh, God. Yeah. And that's the thing. We, you know, it took us a while to get to Lake Tahoe. And it was so worth it. And, you know, anybody would have said, well, why didn't you call? Why couldn't you call? Because it's not that kind of a visit. It was more like we were on an actual spiritual journey. And we were actually looking for the, this ideal person who impacted his life, gave him a prophetic, you know, vision. And I wanted to complete that, you know, that task and go, I don't want to call her or anything. I want to yeah. see her, whether she was dead or alive. I was prepared for it. And I, I was just, I had a feeling. I wasn't. I you wasn't, weren't, yeah. but I, I had a feeling when I stood out the building and I was just like, something feels off. I don't think she's here. Like, I really don't yeah. think she's here. And I'm in tune like that. And then Rich and I got the news from the manager's daughter or friend yeah, that she yeah. was um, passed away a couple of years ago. And she said that, yeah, she was a very, was a very special, special person. Yeah, special person. She was amazing. Yeah. So we're telling you this, guys, because, you know, you're not promised tomorrow. Yes. 
You know what I mean? And, and if you guys, if you, have to, if you have to watch the replay, if you didn't write anything down, listen to these categories that I've talked about. It's so important mm -hmm. as, you know, to live a fulfilled life yes. as a human being, you know, call it the 12 pillars of success, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, that's what I like to call it, the 12 pillars. I mean, though, you know, John called it, you know, life book. Um, right. I'm sure that he got the idea from 12 pillars, I'm sure. Um, but I can tell you that it is like the 12 pillars of success. It is. It is. Success in your life. So look at these categories very closely. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, if you work on them, you know, work at one at a time, you know, you will be able to literally start to see a transformation in your life, in your health, in your business. And it's so important, guys. It's so important. Okay. Um, but yeah, and most people don't know this, but I was not very happy uh, eight years ago when I went to see this woman. When I went to Lake Tahoe. I didn't go to see this woman. I just happened to just be there. Be there, and that's just I went yeah. there just to look at Lake Tahoe. That's eight years ago because I was in, you know in Sacramento, kind of um, actually stopped in California with my coach Jeffrey Combs for three days. So from there we took a trip to Lake Tahoe because only about an hour away. So we did that, and I can tell you that that was the first time I met her, and. I literally did not expect for that to happen, right? So like you said, we were on that spiritual journey and that's why we went we went there because I wanted to see her again. Mm -hmm. um, so understand that you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, guys. You don't know what's gonna happen an hour from now. So why not, you know, try to live the best extraordinary life that you can live yeah. to, you know, to do more, mm -hmm. to be more, to have more and feel fulfilled how many times have you heard you know wealthy people are so rich but they just feel unfulfilled because they don't understand the 12 pillars of success yeah they desire more they, and it's sad it's not money it's it's more yeah. emotional you know and they want to feel connected this is one of the reasons why michael jackson felt not fulfilled everybody's like well michael jackson he's got all the money and wealth <laughs> and riches i mean the man's got giraffe money Okay, he can buy giraffes and shit. But here's the thing. He wasn't happy. Yeah. It wasn't enough. This is why he adopted children. That's why he had kids. Because yeah. he, he wanted to feel fulfilled. Yeah. And as he was getting older, you know, he, he saw himself getting older. And he was just like, is that it? It's just music, my career, yeah. I'm making money, and that's it. No, I'm not happy. You see? And this is what he, what he, one of the things in his interviews that I liked with Man in the Mirror was he said, you know, for once, I just want to go to the supermarket and just shop without anybody asking me for my autograph. And I could just be like everybody else. He wanted to be a part of everybody. Like he wanted to be like a regular guy that, that could just walk into yeah, a yeah, target yeah, and just imagine. buy some clothes That's and crazy. nobody could just run up to the man and yeah. paparazzi here and there and everywhere. It was that kind of a lifestyle. And I'll tell you, he's not the only celebrity that goes through that. There are a lot of people who have wealth and they have wisdom, they're but they're fulfilled. not fulfilled. They're not fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know, because they don't focus on these categories in their life. Exactly. They're missing yeah. a, quite a bit of them. They have holes yeah. in their lives. So it's cool when you really start becoming more aware of what we shared yeah. tonight. Yeah. It really makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, guys? Mm -hmm. And you really think about it like, right? Could you imagine? The stuff that we take for granted. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine like if you learn this stuff from like kindergarten? beyond and every grade was going to teach you every category mm -hmm. isn't that crazy to even fathom to yeah. even think about yeah you know i think our school system is so screwed up i like what uh you know? chintwa chintwa says anthony bourdain comes to mind when yeah. based on what i said not yeah. fulfilled yeah i mean that's it's it's a sad thing yeah mm -hmm. i mean kate spade great yeah. designer had great ideas created a fantastic fashion line you know great business line of mm -hmm. you know essentials you know her ace of spade was her trademark everybody thinks this woman is a happy woman and then bam yeah yeah you know, she's up on a tabloid she killed herself <laughs> i mean like literally oh man it's it's a lot of people have this you know the mask that they wear and don't get it twisted you know you don't know what they're wearing underneath their pants you don't know the trials and tribulations and struggles and pain and, and literally, you know, the sacrifices that they are going through. Yeah. 
right I mean, now. You know, think about like mm-hmm. what Misha has sacrificed and what he's done with his company since Misha. day one. Misha. Like all the stuff he's gone through. Yes. You know, the pain, you know, the sleepless nights, all the things to make, you know, to get this up and running and get it working. And still to this day, fine tuning, right? So we're here for the long haul. And he is so freaking transparent. I wish you guys were there. I'm telling you, yeah. he put a slide up on stage and broke down how much he invested yep. to get to where he is right now, to get super that was cool, network to man. where that it was, is today. Yeah, that was really cool. And he wanted to be so, like completely, utterly transparent and say, look, guys, this is what I spent, okay? <laughs> this is what I invested. This is the coaches I went to. These are the people I talked to. This is who I mastermind with. Like He was like all open yeah. and telling you, if he's doing this, what do you think is going to happen with you? If you want the next level, you got to invest. Yeah. You got to invest in yourself. You've yeah. got to get all these 12 pillars of success down, you know, yeah. in order to have that fine balance in that quality yeah. of, it, it of really, success. It really is. You know, I, I can't stress it enough. I mean, I got really inspired when, mm-hmm. you know, when I found this yeah. and I was reading it and stuff. It reminded me of the 12 pillars of success. Right. It really did. It does. Um, and it's just, it's amazing when you really are aware of these things. You know, and that's life, why he called it life book because right. he put it all in this 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 book and it has tabs in it and, and you know people invest to go to this actual getaway they've spent to learn they I, I think it's like anywhere i think it's like between eight and ten thousand dollars it was a ten thousand dollar course yeah i mean it, it's oh my god yeah. it, it's, it's expensive exactly but what is expensive, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. How bad do you want to, you know? You can't put a price tag on the value. Yeah. How do you want to, you know, do you want to create an extraordinary life? How, what would you pay to create mm-hmm. an extraordinary life? Mm-hmm. You know, think about that. You exactly. Know? So, so guys, if you guys got a lot of value from what we shared with you tonight on the inner circle, feel free to comment, give us some comments there, likes, hearts, and all that good stuff. We'll stick around here for a little bit, take some questions. From you guys, you know how you love Ace and Rich doing some quick Q&A. This is how you guys do it. You know how we roll. Put a Q, put in your question, and try to stay within topic. I think it's a lot better for all of us to learn from each other when we do Q&A because you just never know what question is going to pop out and you're going to learn from. So what I talked about today, guys, um, I mean, this this course goes for 7500 bucks. Okay, okay, so it is about seven. Couple is about you know for a for, couple. It's 10, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way it's to do. Yeah, it. it's ten thousand. But so, for a single person, yeah. it's seven thousand five hundred. So, and this is why you have to think about this is value, the right? Value so when shares. Misha sells you something, when Misha sells you a course, when Misha says you know go all in, right? It's because it's time for you to step up time to that grow. next category. That's right. Right? It's no different. Mm-hmm. Right? You're investing in yourself. So it's very, very important. And, um, you know, I mean, we, we've invested. I mean, how much do you think we've invested so far um, in our business? Let's put it this way. If you guys know, everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. We gave it lots, our all. Lots of money, yeah. Every penny that we've earned since the day we birthed. And we've learned so our, much. Our, our initiation yeah. with Sam. We've learned so much. We've invested. We've learned so much that it helped us understand how to sustain and grow Absolutely. our business, which is amazing. If you're and that's called it. leading the way and leading by example. Yeah. Because if we didn't, y'all wouldn't be here. Oh, exactly. If we didn't, Ace and Rich would be back at work, working. I'll be working at Staples probably. Rich would probably be back at Best Buy. You know, my son would be in public school. We have a different life now. Our lives have completely, completely changed. Yeah. Because of the benefits that we've, you know, gotten from the success and the results that we've actually done here. And yeah. we're not done. And it's not you like, know? you know, you look at these categories. It's not like, a, you know, you start going through it and then you're done. It, it, right. Every category is a life lesson. And it's a work in progress. Right. It's always going to be a work in progress. Always a work in progress. But know, but know that you're aware mm-hmm. of these pillars are so important right. to your life. And as you break down the 12 categories, you know, fine tune the ones that you feel that are like on a scale of one to 10, like you're between a one and a five that you need to work on, that you want to get to a 10. Because yeah. not all of them are going to be a 10. Nobody has a, an ideal perfect life. Nobody. Okay. But what you can do is have a quality of life. Yeah. 
And the quality of life will increase the happiness and joy oh, yeah. and bliss in your relationship with money, with your health, bliss with your business, bliss with your relatives, with your friends, you know, your family, your children, right? It, it, it all will create this fine balance. So we got a question here from, let's see. What do we have? I think it's Dawn. Dawn Wilkie. Oh yeah, she made the necklaces. Yeah. I don't have mine, I have mine in my jewelry box, but thank you, Dawn Wilkie. She made some really nice necklaces that she gave us as gifts down at the event. So thank you for that. We'll go ahead and answer your question here. Don Wilkie says, I have learned all the tech side of marketing except webinars. Should I wait to step into promoting my own product until I learn everything from Nisha on internet marketing? Or should I push forward when my book is published and learn webinars on the fly? I have already learned how to do a longer VSL presentation. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Just like you're welcome. <laughs> um, I think that you know, learning to do webinars as early as possible, um, I would do it. Why not? Why would you wait, right? Learn to do those webinars, webinar. right? But as far as like, um, you know, um, you know, you learn a lot from Misha, right? Or you still want to learn even more from Misha. So I've always was told you always want to learn to sell someone else's product before, before you sell, sell your, your own. own. That's like a golden rule, honey. Yeah. It's a golden rule. We learned it from our mentor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, before but you I mean, start creating your own stuff and yeah. trying to market your own courses and things like that, you're not really ready yet until you start learning is how she, to is sell she someone Maui else's sensor? Sensor? I'm not sure. I don't know. But um, sure. Don, do me a favor. Let me know if you're, um, you know, uh, Maui or All In. Um, no, pro. You're pro. Okay. She's pro. See? Yeah, you probably want to go Maui and Tessa to learn all that other stuff. If you too. want to learn all that yeah. other stuff, then you got to talk to your coach. Talk to your coach because mm -hmm. that's where the next step comes. And exactly. That's going to answer all your if questions. That's where yeah. If that's where your ideal goal is, if that's where you want to go. See, everybody here in San is different. So, Don, you're, I would say, the category of like Maui intensive. So, you definitely want to talk to your coach yeah, about I think, I, I think your you're, feelings of yeah. what you want to do. I think you're you ready know? to step up because mm -hmm. that's going to. Trust me, that's where it helped us. It sure did. With, um, you know, understanding. We're just being to, honest with you. Yeah. You know, it's not a sales pitch. We're just telling you, if you're thinking like that, that right there is an entrepreneur mind who's ready to move to the next level. Yep. You're ready to move with your own thing. Yep. But you need the structure. You need the guidance. And you need the actual technical help with yep. the sand can do that for you. Remember, school has a ceiling, right? You know, <laughs> entrepreneurship does not have a ceiling. No, it doesn't. You go as high as you want. Exactly. Right? It never ends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's look at the Facebook. Thanks okay. for your question, Don. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Um, Saloniki says, way to go, Don Wilkie. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Any questions here, guys? You guys are watching us live on Facebook, uh, Super Affiliate Network group chat. Yep. Um, anywhere have... you see us on the group, go ahead and pop right out. Yeah, we have nine minutes Put to go. Put a cue in your question. You guys got nine minutes to get those cues. Donald Potter says, Q, have you heard anything about pro membership? Anything regarding the announcements or updates that was actually said on stage by Misha? I'm pretty sure he's going to be putting an update webinar to let you guys know about changes, and he will put that out soon. Yep. We have no definite date on that, so we don't know much except for just those details I just gave you, Donald. So Solly, um, Solo Nikki says, yes, my pro coach told me that today, going all in. Woo, all right. Way to go, Solo. All right. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. Good job. Makes sense. Yes, this all makes sense. Yeah, it does. And it's a great way of breaking things down because nobody's ever talked to you like this. You know, like Rich said, this is not taught in traditional education. It's not. It's, it's so, it's it's so really, sad. It's left out. It's so it's sad. Literally it's so left bad. Out. You like, know what I mean? It's... What were you going to have? Subject life class. Yeah. <laughs> right? There's an additional subject textbook I mean, life class. We yeah, are... but as big as the Bible. Guys, you know? <laughs> really, come on. Are we human beings or are we machines? Yeah. You know, really, we are human beings. We should learn to live a, a better, extraordinary life. Mm -hmm. These pillars should be like... Like everything in school, this should be taught. Okay, so Salo Nikki has a question. It says, Q, hey, is a debt for borrowing for your business, is it good or 
bad. Hmm. That's a great question. That's a great question. So you're asking, is it is it good or bad to be in, in debt for borrowing for your business? We have to think about when you're borrowing for your business, okay? You got to think about the capital that is necessary. And I say necessary with building a business, any kind of business. You have to have the capital. And people who are, like we went to the billionaire's breakfast, Ryan talked about this, didn't yes. he, Rich? I can tell you that it is good debt. When you borrow money for your business, it's good debt because there's some things you could write off with your taxes, right? So let's say that, you know, Chuck, you know, go to CPA. I'm not a CPA expert, right? right? Not a CPA. But I can tell you, you know, just generally, um, there's certain things you could write off in your business. So, you know, that could really help a lot. So make sure that the capital that you receive for your business, make sure you allocate it properly mm -hmm. for the books for your taxes yes. so you can get a bigger benefit out of it absolutely oh yeah absolutely and and as my mentor said you know if you're going to borrow it make sure you pay it back <laughs> especially if you got a you know good rate of return exactly you know you definitely want to make sure that that particular debt is cleared and yep. out of the way so you that doesn't cause but it, any but, stress but it, but it's good debt though because it's considered to be good debt when yeah. it's for the business yeah. it's considered to be good debt yeah and when you're invested, when you're upgrading and things like that, all of that. Because you're investing in yourself. You are. And whenever time you invest in yourself, mm -hmm. that's good. Debt. Yes. Uh, Sharon Green. Hey. Hey, Sharon. Sharon Green says, Q, um, this may be off topic, but let me see. Uh, was wondering, are we allowed to duplicate the things you teach us? Anything that is taught here. Okay, within the super affiliate network is all education. It is not owned by anybody. Okay, a lot of the information that's helping you grow, get results, you should be sharing. This is why when we go live, we always say share the live because the stuff that's going to come out of our mouth, people are going to get value from it. You know, they're not just empty words. There are things in there that's content that people are searching for, that people are hungry and want to know. So if you're taking away great content, you should be sharing about it in many different formats, email, blogging, video, okay? Or podcasting, however you wanna convey the information to your audience on whatever platform you spend most of your time on. Me, primarily, I'm on Facebook. When I was on stage, I talked about using Facebook, okay? I even taught strategies that you know got me from zero to making you know that 42K for both of us utilizing Facebook, all right? So all the information that I'm learning, I'm gonna convey it on a platform, okay? And you share it in written context, or you can do a video, or you can do a podcast. But however you're gonna do it, you wanna stay consistent with just one thing. Don't try to be all over the place, be consistent. But yes, sharing is caring. And so anything that you're learning from the Profit Boosting Bootcamp, if you feel that it's really making a difference for you, if you're getting results from it, share it. Yep. Share a takeaway, at least one takeaway, and uh, you know, give some tips. Yep. Give some tips to your audience because that's the stuff that they're hungry and searching for. So, truthfully, said so my story is similar to yours, and uh, you told me just to concentrate on getting out and moving on. Yeah, we had a nice one-on-one -on -one conversation sure in yeah. person, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a little one-on-one -on -one chat with Tracy to help him and stuff. Um, he says, it's going to happen soon. All right. Congratulations on that. I always add that as if, but I am still studying and inching my business forward. I want to just buy some traffic. Is that okay? I need to practice on, let me see, one, one on, stream. on one stream. Well, here's the thing. Um, you're in a different scenario, okay? Um, your goal is to continue to get out, Okay. You're not going to be able to really be clear and build your business if you're in the situation you're in right now. Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do, Terry, is focus on one thing and get the hell out as fast as possible. I got so you can breathe and you can open things up. Yes. Then you can start focusing yes. on, you know, doing what you got to do with your business. You're in a place right now. You're in a situation that you just got to take care of that one step. Once you do that, sky's the limit. Okay. Oh, my good friend, Anthony Ambago. I know who that is. Okay. He says, Q for rich. Oh, this is for you. Um, when that lady in Lake Tahoe described the girl for you, did you know it was Ace right when you met her or did you have to talk to her and find out? 
Did you go chasing every dark haired girl that fit that description? I think this applies to chasing our dreams as well. How do we prioritize what to look out for when chasing those opportunities? I think it comes with mentors. Would you agree? Okay. So, <laughs> a couple of questions here. so this will be the last question of the night. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to break this down. Why? <laughs> this is fun. Well, no, no. This is the last question of the night. Okay. There's a couple of questions. So okay. what I want to talk about, because it's going to be 10 o'clock. Okay. So yeah. what I want to talk about is um, <laughs> what did I do when she described, you know, someone to me and, uh, I was like, that's interesting, but I didn't really take it really that seriously. You know what I mean? I mean, I was fascinated by it. I was like, wow, like I'm going to meet someone, dark hair girl. It's going to, she's going to have a son. Everything was predicted. It was really weird. Everything was predicted. But at that time, I didn't expect to meet Ace. You get what I'm saying? My goal was to get back because I just got done working with Jeffrey Combs, my coach, for three days and getting some personal development, some good stuff, because um, I have to get straightened out, right? So when I went through that, like, my mind was about getting back home and getting serious. That's what I was worried about. I wasn't thinking about the prediction. I wasn't thinking about none of that stuff. I mean, yeah, I was in the back of my mind, but if anything more than anything, I was fascinated by her, and I love Lay Tahoe. Those are two things that just stuck with me the whole time I went back. However, the day that um, you know I met Ace, um, I still didn't really think nothing of it until we started talking. Until we started like you know getting to know who we were and stuff like that. And then um, you know I saw saw Angel for the first time, three years old, and I started putting two and two together. <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, I have, I'm going to have a son now, I'm going to have a son now, okay, and I'm going to have somebody, you know, totally, because at that time, guys, I was going through depression for like almost 10 years, yeah. I didn't like, yeah. I wasn't, I, I couldn't fall in love with anybody, okay, because what happened to me prior, my, my prior relationship, you wouldn't even laugh, dude, okay? it was really that bad, you were, you was really bad yeah. so but that's what happened and i put two and two together after we had that conversation stuff like that but i was not chasing every dark hair girl because at that time my mindset was like i thought girls were like screwed up and i don't want to deal with any girls okay because of what happened in my pri previous relationship yeah you got hurt so that's why i wasn't like okay i'm gonna look for every girl now i don't want to do that because i thought all girls were evil at the time okay <laughs> so um so she's the one that actually broke that that curse which is cool um, I broke the curse. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So as far as prioritizing. And I make them laugh too. <laughs> oh, yeah. So as far as prioritizing, um, you know, like when it comes to mentors, okay, when chasing those opportunities, when it comes to mentor, let's focus on the mentor part. I think that's the most important thing here tonight. Mentorship is very, very important. Yes. Whatever you want to learn, you have to find someone that is a master at it invest with them to learn what they know it's that simple yeah so that time eight years ago when i went to lake tahoe i hired jeffrey combs i went out there for three days i learned about a lot about myself that i did not like okay and learned a lot about things in business that wasn't about making money that help you become successful it's always counterintuitive it's, it's always the opposite of what we think it's so messed up but it's true so you have to find out what resonates with you when it comes to mentors, okay? So focus literally on what you want to accomplish and who you want to become. If you see someone that inspires you, if you see someone that actually coached a lot of people, then, and you know they've, they, they have a, a track of creating success for other people as well, Yes. because I saw that, then that resonates with me. And I said, you know what? That guy in 2008, when I saw him for the first time in the company I was in, my first company I started internet marketing, I looked at him and I said, you're going to be my coach. I told that to myself. And not kidding, in 2010, guess who, was, guess who was my coach? He was. I put it out there. You'll know. You, you, you will know hands down, right? To become a really good marketer, what does Misha know? Misha knows a lot about conversions. Oh my God, conversion is so important. This is why the more you invest 
the more you learn and you grow and you get closer to know all his knowledge or what he knows. Okay? So very important. All right, guys. So we are a little bit after 10 o'clock. I want to thank you guys for stopping by the Super Affiliate Network Inner Circle Coaching Call. This was great. This was great. Yeah. Um, I love it. And uh, we got to share these uh, you know, pillars of success with you that are really beneficial and very important to your life and your success. I say your life because it is about creating a full, fulfilled life. Okay? So, anything you want to say? Um, just, you know, take everything that we share with you and like take little bullet points, just like what I told you guys on stage at the event, you know, take all your notes and really make time for yourself to break them down into different individualized posts and put individual posts out there. And that's how you can really share it with building up your community inside your following up on Facebook, you know, Instagram, wherever Absolutely. you hang out the most. Yes. If you do video, do Facebook lives, right, Rich? <laughs> Yep. Do Facebook lives, um, or you can also do YouTube lives. But I want to also say, um, those of you who actually took pictures with us at the event, I still haven't been tagged yet. So I would like to see us be tagged. So in order for us to be tagged, you guys got to be friends with us. So if we hung out, had dinner at the VIP luncheon and the VIP party, and we took some selfies, I would love for you guys to tag us because we would love to comment on your photographs so that we can help build your credibility, okay? Not only that, but it yeah. keeps more engagement. It keeps more engagement with, going uh, too, yeah. but also it helps build your credibility. If you don't yeah. have any, we can help you with that too. So make sure that you tag us in those photographs. I'd love to see them. I know we took a lot of photographs, so I can't keep up with everybody that was at the event, yes. but definitely tag me up. All right, guys, you guys have a great evening and uh, watch the replay if you didn't write anything down and then write it down because it is so important what we share with you yes. this evening, okay? Tune in. Love you guys. Next time. Appreciate you. Yep. And we'll see you next Monday. Next Monday, same time. Same bad channel. Same bad channel. We're back. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye.